So I don't know if you could tell this in last week's video, but when I said put on your nerd diving helmet because this is going to go deep, from that point forward, I was using a teleprompter. Now the teleprompter setup that I have has one design flaw, and that is the fact that it blocks the screen on my camera. So I can't actually see the screen, the, the viewfinder screen on my camera. In order to do that, I have to lean way over like this. Now I can see it, but that doesn't really help. So, well now I guess I can kind of see through the hole there on this side. And now I'm just checking to make sure that the green screen is fully within the view. And yeah, so I mean, really, I don't know exactly how well this shot looks until I'm able to play it back. And then to make adjustments is a pain. So that is something I've got to figure out. Not sure exactly how I'm going to do it, but I'll figure something out eventually. Anyway, uh, not the point of the video. Roll the thing. Hey guys, Sean here. So let's continue on our what, where, who, how, why, and when breakdown of Critical Role. So as denoted in last week's video, we have the what, which is Dungeons and Dragons, and the where, which is Geek and Sundry's Twitch channel. So now let's talk about the who. The cast of Critical Role is a group of well-known and lucrative voice actors. Well, well-known if you're into nerd stuff like video games and anime. How lucrative? Here is a list of pretty much all the things they have been in, be they movies, TV shows, video games, or anime. It is sped up for time, as there are over 700 things. And who are these voice actors? Well, for that, I need a change of location. I'm the only one that can see, but I'm all the I'm both. The guy over there in the box by himself, that is Matt Mercer. He is the dungeon master for this game. To my right here is Liam O'Brien. Next to him is Marisha Ray, who is Matt Mercer's wife. Next to her is Travis Willingham. His wife, Laura Bailey, is the one in the middle down there. To her right is Sam Regal, and to her left is Taliesin Jaffe. And next to him it is, uh, I need to change location again. Next to Taliesin is Ashley Johnson. Now, she does not appear every week because she spends most of the year in New York because she is a regular cast member on the NBC show Blindspot. It has actually been written into her critical role character that she will go away for a while from time to time. All right, I'll leave them be so that they can get back to the game. And that leads us into the how, as in, how did all this get started? Well, in 2013, they all got together for Liam O'Brien's birthday and proceeded to play a one-time simplified D&D 4th edition game. You see, since D&D has been around for over 30 years, it has been updated and refreshed. The most current version of this is the 5th edition. They had such a great time at Liam's birthday party that they decided to continue playing. However, they switched over to Pathfinder instead of continuing with D&D. Now, what is Pathfinder? Well, that's a little complicated. Before the year 2007, the company Paizal Publishing published D&D magazines under a contract with Wizards of the Coast, D&D's rights holder. In early 2007, Wizards of the Coast decided not to renew the contract with Paizal, and so they changed the name of their magazine to Pathfinder. In August of 2007, Wizards of the Coast announced that they were going to be releasing the 4th edition of D&D, replacing the existing 3.5 edition. Many on staff at Paizau were concerned about this because 3.5 had an open game license, which is a public copyright license that may be used by tabletop role-playing game developers to grant permission to modify, copy, and redistribute some of the content designed for their games, most notably game mechanics. D&D 4th Edition did not have this license. And so, instead of continuing support for D&D in their magazine, Paizau released a modified version of 3.5 Edition in 2008 and called it Pathfinder. For four years, it actually outsold D&D. However, 
in 2014 when Wizards of the Coast released the fifth edition of D&D, it reclaimed the top spot. But Pathfinder is always close behind. It should be noted that upon the release of fifth edition, Wizards of the Coast brought back the open game license. Which leads us to another how, as in how is this streaming on Twitch now? Well, Felicia Day was looking for interesting things to put on the newly created Geek and Sundry Twitch channel. And she heard about this amazing D&D game that had been going on for two years with a group of nerdy voice actors from her friend Ashley Johnson. So she approached the group and asked them if they'd like to stream the game weekly on Twitch, and the group agreed. However, a change needed to be made to the game. In order to streamline things a bit to make it more appealing for a viewing audience, Matt Mercer decided they would switch over from Pathfinder, which is a lot more detail-oriented, to D&D 5th Edition. And so with that, on March 12th, 2015, the first live stream of Critical Role was broadcast. Over the last three years, they have had many guests join them, including Felicia Day, Chris Hardwick, Will Wheaton, and probably the most surprising D&D nerd of all, Joe Manganiello. I mean, you look at him, this super buff guy that was in Magic Mike and was the head of the werewolves on True Blood, this guy who was married to Sofia Vergara and just screams jock. But turns out he is a huge D&D nerd. So that leads us to the why, as in why did I suddenly become obsessed with the show that's been running for three years at the beginning of 2018? Well, I had watched a few episodes here and there, and there was a lot to it. There are 141 episodes leading up to the end of 2017, and keep in mind, each one of those averages about three to four hours long. So it was just a lot to fully get into. However, in the summer of 2017, it was announced that they would be ending their campaign in October. A campaign is just another name for the overall adventure. They had been playing this campaign for three years now, and it was time to move on. And so on October 12th, 2017, Vox Machina, that was the name of their previous group, had their last adventure. Over the next two months, there were a bunch of one-off games to fill the time slot on the Geek & Sundry Twitch channel. Then on January 11th, 2018, the new campaign was started. The timeline was shifted ahead 20 years after the end of the last campaign, the setting was changed to a new region of the world, and everyone made brand new characters. This was the perfect place to jump on, and so I did, and I've been hooked ever since. So that just leaves us with the when. When does Critical Role air? It's streamed every Thursday night at 7 p.m. Pacific Time on Twitch. It is also streamed at the same time on YouTube and Project Alpha's website. I couldn't find any stats for the total number between all three streams, but the Twitch stream usually has 40,000 plus viewers every week. There's also a show that airs every Tuesday at 7 called Tox Machina, named after the party from the first campaign, in which two to three of the cast members sit down with host Brian W. Foster and discuss the previous week's episode and answer Twitter questions from fans. Oh. And they give out prizes for the best fan art of the week because, oh my god, the fan art. Before every episode, they show a video that is just the fan art that was made over the course of the week. Each piece is shown for about 5 seconds, and this video generally lasts for about 10 minutes. And all of it is so amazing. The amount of incredible art pieces that Critical Role has inspired could fill 10 art galleries, and it just keeps increasing. And so that's Critical Role. The last thing I'll say about it is the rallying cry of the show that was started by the fans and adopted by Matt Mercer to close out every episode. As you are watching this video, whenever that might be, let me ask you, is it Thursday yet? So if you're a fan of Critical Role, let me know in the comments down below who your favorite character is. And while you're down there, if you liked this video, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more of the crazy crap that goes on around here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you'd like to help support the crazy crap that goes on around here, go ahead and hit up my Patreon. And with that, have a good however long it is until you watch my next video.